Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. I'm gonna attempt to do a voiceover for this video. And um, I'm still gonna leave all the captions that I usually do, but I wanna try and get used to talking Ugh. on the microphone. But it's kinda hard for me. Ugh, my ugly mug. It's kinda hard for me because one, I'm getting work done downstairs in my kitchen. Two, I have five dogs. And three, I have a loud Haitian mother. So at any point, could just start hearing random background noises and I apologize for that but I'm gonna try so bear with me so here we have myself filling my brows with the ABH brow wiz I used to use the pomade but uh, because my base like my primer and my uh, my my skincare was so like slippery um, the pomade wasn't sticking well so I decided to go with the brow pencil instead because it just grips my skin a little better than the pomade was so here I'm using the ABH liner to draw lines on my brows just because I feel like it gives my brows a little more character, a little more, uh, I guess, textures, and I think they look cooler this way. I've been trying it for my last couple of looks and I like it that way. And now I'm using the Clinique uh, Concealer Foundation. I bought this as a foundation at first, but it's too pink for me, like the undertones are too pink. So instead of returning it like a normal person, I decided to use it to sculpt my eyebrows and to like cover up my um, dark spots. And I don't know, I like this for my that part of routine. I've almost gone through the whole bottle and I might go back and get some more. Just because it's so much, it's thick and it cover ups, covers up everything. And it's only like $28 for the bottle. I'm not sure, but it's pretty cheap for like a lot of products. So I like it. Brow gels are a newer part of my routine and I like them because I have like very like unruly eyebrow hairs and they just help give me the full brow look that I really like. I used to draw my brows really thin but I really like filling in the whole brow like I haven't done my eyebrows in a year and this kind of helps keep them look neat and also give me the full look that I like for my brows. If anybody's wondering, I have this blending sponge from Morphe. I think it's like their contour highlighting blending sponge. It's really soft and I think it's only $6. Um, so if you're looking for like a cheap, soft blending sponge that gets into like the corners of your face, that's a good one to get. This eyeshadow base is from a brand that I don't want to mention because they've been problematic in the last few months. But uh, still, I bought a lot during their last black uh black friday sale so i don't want to just like stop using it since i already spent money on it and i haven't found a good alternative yet so if you know a good alternative for an eye base uh let me know in the comments so i'm taking this uh palette from certify and um, they're an indie UK brand and I've heard a lot about them. I ended up buying something from them also during a Black Friday sale, which was the Tropical Wonders palette. And I really do like the palette, like I'm a sucker for colorful, bright palettes. This part is really just going to be me taking a color and then blending it in, taking an another color and then packing it on top and just applying all the colors to my face. I really don't have too much to say about this part. Um, just take your time. You're gonna be blending a lot. Uh, if you don't like the look, you could always start over, which I did a lot, like a lot, a lot, and that's fine.
it was around this part of the look where I started having a lot of issues just because I suck at using the color purple. Like I've used a lot of purples from a lot of brands and they tend to just get like really patchy only in like the corner of my eye and I hate when it does that and I don't know how to fix it exactly like you see that little spot right there I don't know why that happens and it's not just it's not the palette's fault it's like literally every purple I've ever used in my life ever so I probably usually what I do is I um I put down more base to try and give the purple something uh, to grip to again because just putting like usually if I put the purple down it's fine but when I try and blend it out or put something over it that's when it starts to give me that patchiness so I usually put the base down again so it's sticky so the purple sticks a little better and I can kind of mask the issues that I'm having this this actually caused me a lot of issues for this look because of the patchiness and I had to take it off probably three or four times before I got something good as a matter of fact the part that you're looking at right now was it like the final me doing the final look I actually took it off again after this but my camera cut and I didn't get to record it so I'm just giving you this because this is basically the steps that I took but um I just don't have me doing like the final final version of it because my camera's stupid So what you're seeing here is hella fallout on my face, which like isn't a problem. It usually tells me that a palette's super pigmented and I really don't care about it. But this is the reason why I tend to do my eyes before my face when I'm doing like super colorful looks like this because a lot of shadows, like especially that yellow, would just fall on my face and ruin my base if I were to do my foundation first. So that's why I prefer doing my eyes and then I wipe up whatever excess is under my eyes and then I go in and I do my base. This is where I started to worry about this attempt because as I started to blend all the colors together it started to look more muddy like you couldn't really see each individual color because it was blending out into like this weird kind of brown shade it wasn't terrible but it wasn't what I was going for so I made a little more effort in trying to save it but I did end up wiping this off one last time and then redoing it which was the part that wasn't caught on camera because my camera cut off. It's funny because you can literally tell by my expressions that I'm not liking where this is going but like I'm still trying to salvage it because I don't want to start over but I, in my heart I knew I had to. What was really dumb was I was really trying to save it so I decided to start lining first before I actually removed it which was dumb because I ended up taking it off anyways, but at least you got to see how I line my crease because after I took it off, I had to reline it anyway, but none of that was caught on camera. Just a heads up, if you decide to line your eyes with the lipstick, do so at your own risk because um, I'm not sure if the Fenny Stunner lip paint is eye safe. I've never had like a reaction to any like makeup products or like skincare products. So I'm just kind of doing it because I feel like I know my skin. But like if you have very like sensitive skin, uh, usually red pigments especially will cause like reactions. So just just proceed with caution when doing stuff like this. I'm actually lying. Once I did have a reaction to a skincare product, it was like some toner that smelled like methanol. And I brought it from a friend because we were on a trip and I forgot to bring toner. And I rubbed it all over my face and it felt hot and tingling, which isn't like odd for a skincare product. So I didn't think anything of it. 
but when I went to go do my makeup later I noticed I had these like big kind of like black marks on my face that were basically like scrapes because it had burned away the top layer of my skin and that wasn't fun but it wasn't bad I was able to cover it up but yeah that was the only time I've ever had a bad reaction to a skincare product if you haven't noticed by now I make some really weird faces when I'm doing my makeup and I do the same thing when I'm like drawing or painting I don't know why I don't know where I picked this up but my mom says I got it from my dad because he does it a lot too when he's working I don't know so I apologize for like any weird facial expressions you've caught me doing during this video and other videos I just don't notice it until I'm going back and editing this footage and I'm just like wow I'm doing the most with my mouth right now and I also do try and edit out those like really really weird facial expressions too but like sometimes I just can't so yeah I apologize for that so here I'm just taking the same colors that I put on my lid and I'm just putting them on my under eye I like a really like blown out under eye so I take it down pretty far usually and I don't know that's just how I like to do my makeup I'm using a lot of AB stuff because I recently received like everything in PR a couple weeks ago and um, I'm happy they, they gave me the opportunity to try a lot of their products that I normally wouldn't have looked at or bought um, because they actually have some, some really nice stuff that I didn't think they did like the blushes and the bronzers that they have in their collection it's actually really nice super pigmented and very easy to blend out. I'm bronzing my face now. I don't like usually like really contour contour. I just use a bronzer and I think that adds enough like shadows and warmth to my face to where I feel like I don't need to contour my face. I don't really like contouring. I've never found like a good contouring method that works for me so bronzing is just fine. I personally love using blush. I love rubbing it all over my nose, my temples, my cheeks. I think it adds like a nice color to your face when you're doing your makeup. So I just abuse the hell out of it when I can. Um, and to think there was a time that I never really used blush because I didn't think I needed it. But like one day I just kind of tried it just to see and I've loved it ever since. Oh, this is my baby. Her name is Ruby. She's like three three and a half months old now and she was looking for a lot of attention that night she kept clawing on my legs so i decided to give her some so look, look at her little cute little face isn't she so cute oh my goodness I get a lot of questions about where I get my eyelashes from. Majority of my lashes at this point are from AliExpress because I realized a lot of those IG vendors just buy AliExpress lashes in bulk and just like resell them for like 800 times the price. So like don't sleep on AliExpress. Like these lashes probably cost me 250 Even though the shipping is kind of long, I think they took like two weeks to get here. I think it's worth it because look at these bomb ass lashes. They're gorgeous. This um, Fenty Beauty Uncuffed Sudden Lip Paint is currently my favorite nude in my collection right now. I have like very big lips and it only takes one dip in the bottle and that's with wiping off the excess cover all of my lips. Like you see I'm not going back in the bottle to get more product.
I do appreciate a matte lip, but I just love how light reflects off of a gloss, especially a gloss with some shimmer in it. So I decided to apply a shimmery lip gloss on top to really make my lips pop because that's my favorite feature. So this is the final look. I don't know where my shirt went, but at some point I decided to rub glitter all over my body. And I kind of like the look, you know, even though there was no point to it and I had that glitter on for eight days afterwards, it's fine. It's fine. It was a look. It was a look. And here's a close up for a little blend check. So you can see after 17 attempts, I was able to get all the colors to blend together pretty nicely. And yeah, that's it. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and listening to my voice. Um, thank you. Bye.